people and night away here welcome back to my hoo crew today is snack box day snack snack box day and this is my trusty sidekick austin and we are going to be trying stuff from russia and i am super excited because i know number one i'm going to butcher every name um <laughs> and today they've included as a special treat it's a little button but it's a babushka doll from russia and if you know them the babushka dolls are the ones that you can like take apart and there's a teeny tiny one in the middle but you can use this one as a button you can sew it on wherever you want or just keep it like that and I keep dropping it so anyways but let's get to trying to treat yay so we have a list of treats and something I didn't see this time now we've got a treat on here uh, this is the first time I've ever seen it it's called Cerniki and they give you the recipe for it so there's the recipe for it. So if you can see all that, you want to pause it and write it down. There you go. And how to make Russian Cerniki. But the first thing we have is these are, and please, I'm asking all my Russian friends to forgive me right now. Um, and understand that I don't know any Russian. And uh, we're going to try and do this and hopefully not butcher every single one of them. But this is called uh crude fruit bears it's passion fruit raspberry strawberry blueberry pineapple and apple flavored chewy jelly candy in the shape of mischievous bears so hopefully these are i like the packaging this bear is so cute he does look mischievous doesn't he a little bit it looks like he did something. oh the package smells yummy i'm gonna take a red one i'm thinking because um I'm thinking that strawberry or raspberry, one of the two. There's the bear. I don't know. Try a green one. And try a green one. It's probably apple, green apple or something. So he looks really, really cute. Mmm. That's almost better than gummy bears. It's not too strong a flavor. But I'm taking taking the fact that I think Austin likes them. It's not too strong. I was expecting a really strong sweet taste, like terrible, like they're little gummy bears, but eh, what are you going to do? Okay, the next thing we have is a, it's called a Yashkino, Yashkino Soft Waffle. Yep. And a soft and fluffy home style waffle that is literally jam packed, literally jam, jam. <laughs> um, enjoy a tart cherry filling in this breakfast favorite. So this is like a breakfast snack on the go. Um, we've never had any of these before, like the waffle snacks. I don't know if we can get this open unless I do this here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ooh. Oh, it smells so good. I kind of want to try it. Oh, my. There it is. Because I feel like it's... Really sweet? Yeah, I feel like it's going to hurt my teeth. It yeah, like my... Twinkie. It does, it does smell like a Twinkie. Oh, wow. Okay, well, here we go. Yeah. I'm not tough on the inside. I thought it was, like, soft. Yeah. I would... There's nothing there. It was supposed to be jam-packed. There, it's supposed to be jam-packed. There's barely anything in there. If you can see that, that is not jam-packed to me. That, okay. I'm kind of disappointed because, I mean, it it does taste good. It smells nice. But all I can taste is waffle. I can I not taste any cherry or anything like that. I was really expecting a better flavor. Um, I don't know. Just what? Just like, no, you need some wawa. You need some wawa? Yeah, I gotta wash that down a little bit. Cause that I was not expecting that. But kind of tasted a little less like a waffle and more like um an empty Twinkie. Well, yeah, like with a Twinkie, at least you know you get the sweetness. At least you I know you. A little bit. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> nice, Steve. I'm just trying. Anyways, but that's that was kind of disappointing. I don't know. Anyways, the next thing we have is the uh, biscuit banana cake banana. Cake banana. The little round one. 
Yeah. This is a sweet and spongy shortcake with a decadent banana cream filling in the shape of a fun animal. Now, I'm guessing it's probably a monkey, but monkey. it has hippos, monkeys, elephants, and everything on the front of it. Like, I don't know what... It kind of looks like a hippo inside, but it could be a monkey. Oh, this looks cute. I'm sorry, but I'm almost... <gasps> it is cute! Look at that! That is adorable! Front and back has a tail. Now, I'm kind of half expecting this to be like the waffle. Plus points. Unfortunately, I know, right? Plus, um, there's going to be plus points for yeah, cuteness. I think so. I think they get extra points for cuteness because that's adorable. I love it. And he even had the belly button. But anyway... <laughs> But um, I'm kind of expecting it to taste like the waffle with like kind of lackluster flavor. I'm gonna bite his head. Mm. Better? A little better. But still very oh, wow. dry. Smells like a banana. It's very dry. Mm. When you get the cream filling, it's mm. tiny bit better. But I there's think, not a lot. I think it's okay. Not my favorite, though. So far, the gummies have been my favorite. They're mm. fruit juicy. They're not too strong. But I was I was expecting more of a banana. But, I mean, yeah. you do get the banana flavor in it. You do get that. But there's not enough cream filling. It's like, to, I don't know. All right. I'm still complaining. All right. The next thing we have is the... Yashkono, Yashkino Dutch Waffle, which is two soft and chewy waffle cookies sandwiched around a layer of thick caramel. Well, they have described these as thick, I guess. Now, there's two of these in the box. We'll save the other one for when my little guy gets home. He likes to try them, too, so we save a little bit for him. Uh, make sure. Okay, this almost looks like a pancake. So, here it is. Um, is it soft? It is not really soft. It is it is soft, but it's not... It feels hard. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's going to be crunchy. Mm. I don't taste it... Or, or taste. I don't smell any caramel or anything. I don't... It smells... Like I said, I, I don't know if it's going to be like the waffle thing again. Like... Um, it's not... Mm, it's soft. There's no flavor. I mean, it's very subtle, but... I don't like that. There's... Nether Russia doesn't like strong things. It says a thick thing of caramel. Like, how is that thick? I tasted no caramel. I'm sorry. It's there in the aftertaste. I get the sweetness in the aftertaste. I really do. But I'm kind of disappointed so far. But, I mean, this is the thing. We didn't grow up in Russia. We don't know. Like, there could be sweeter things over there. They might have, you know, they're used to these flavors. Mm -hmm. You know? So, yeah. Let's try the next thing. So, we have the Basker Wheels, which is light and fluffy pancake with a surprise raspberry jam seeping into, seeping out with every bite. Oh, no. Now, here we go again with these pancake breading. In Russia, they love their bread. Their breading, their pancakes, their, their pastries. Clearly. I'm thinking... It, oh my gosh. It's actually pancakes, guys. So it's actually two little pancakes. What do you think it's going to be? I know, but I wasn't expecting to actually look like two little pancakes squished together. Because that's all it is. Well, it's something's not, happening. But it's thick in the middle, so I'm hoping that there's a little more flavor with this one. I hope so. It smells good. Maybe that's just a going thing with Russia. Things smell good. Yeah, I thought so. Don't even want to try this one. Try it anyway. Hold on. Yeah. Now it says oozing out with every bite. That's not oozing. But it's okay. But it's good. I actually don't mind this one. I mean... Better than the rest. Maybe they like things that smell good, but then ruin your appetite after. <laughs> Maybe. Just, just kidding. Their food tastes exceptionally well, though. So their sweets are. I'm, I'm just playing. Just, just... 
It's actually, I'm so far, I like that one. Because I love raspberry. Ra raspberry is good for me. It almost tastes like Turkish Delight. Like just that flavor for me. Alrighty. On to the next thing. We don't have too many in this box. What we do, they had to substitute a couple of things because a couple of things that they wanted to put in were not available. Uh, but the next thing we have mm -hmm. is the Sweet and Crispy Wafers Lucky Roll. Um, which are smothered in condensed milk coating and rolled into the perfect snacking roll. Oh no. So here's another breading roll waffle thingy. Mm. Um, this way the rest of them are gonna be, the rest of them are bread too. Mm. Except for like two things. But I mean, don't get me wrong, I love waffles, like waffle cones and waffle cups With and everything else, syrup. but... Now Ooh. this one actually looks a little bit better. Now this, mind you, like I said, I know there is no filling in this. So I'm not expecting... It looks different. But if it's um, condensed milk, it has a really nice, sweet, thick flavor. So I'm hoping this is better than... I hope so. Okay. Does it smell better? Sorry, I put my nose right on it. That's right. I'm, gonna I'm eating this down. in. I'm going to be so let down. No. Every time I there's a glimpse of hope for anything. Mm hmm A little better? Mm-hmm. I don't mind it. Put your hand on your knees because it's really crunchy. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it just fell apart a little. You know what it tastes like? Those Italian cookies? This is your fault, Russia. Yeah. Mm. He's covered in wafer cookies. Um, this reminds me of the Italian wafer cookies that we get. They're like a big snowflake round thing, and they're Italian cookies. They're wafer thin. There's vanilla, chocolate, and I think caramel. Mm. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. That hit the back of my throat. Ow, I bit my lip. <laughs> Actually, that wasn't too bad. I like that one. What do you think? I think it was okay. Yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to grab at it. It's just it's I figure the sooner I get it away from you, the sooner we can move on. All right. <laughs> All right. The next thing we have now they put two of these types of things in, um, so hopefully both flavors are good. I'm not really sure what I think. Um, I think we should go with the one that's here. Okay. Um, so. These are called Kiri, Kiriashki, Kiriashki Croutons. Now, this is, um, I think this is like cream and something. It says a fun twist on a favorite Russian snack, salmon and cheese flavored rusks with tartar sauce for dipping. So I don't Yikes. know, I don't think there's tartar sauce to dip, <laughs> but I'm thinking it's on the chips. Um... Oh, well, this says it's there, but this is, see, it shows that there's sauce in here, but I don't think there is. It but could, I'm sure you can get it. I'm sure that there's just going to be the food in there. Oh, no, there's dipping sauce in here. Oh. So here's your dipping sauce. That's a bit. So it does come with dipping sauce. Fairly big, yeah. And this is what the, like, it's like bread. Well, it is bread. It's like pumpernickel bread or something like that, or like rye bread. Uh, yeah, shut I, up, you. I'm... I'm Feeling okay. like it's the same constant stream. It smells like I know, right? It's all bread. <laughs> That's Russia, true. you love your bread. Um, kind of. Well, it smells like tartar sauce. I don't wanna. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, it's not bad. It's not that bad. So I have to try just one more time. I'm gonna get a decent sized one. So I can make it. It's not that bad. Yeah, but. And it, it tastes like ranch dressing to me. That's what it tastes like to me ranch dressing. What do you think? I think it's alright. I just. This is good at parties and stuff. If you wanna put this kind of party mix out and you put out some of this. 
Now, to me, this tastes like ranch dressing, not tartar sauce. And that does not taste like salmon. It just tastes like bread. seasoned breadsticks. But the sauce with it is actually really good. Now, this one here, um, we don't know. I think this is like caviar or something like that. It shows a picture of caviar on the front. Mm. So, I don't know if there's dipping sauce in this one or not. That one looks too small to have dipping sauce. Um, but this is a different flavor. Uh, it is in Russian. So, I have. if you guys know what it says down below of what these say of the flavor or whatever, it, there's no English on this bag whatsoever. I wonder why. Oh, these smell like fish too. These are just little squares. So these are probably just... Pop them. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. okay. These are alright. I don't mind them. They mm. taste better than the breadsticks with tartar sauce. Hmm. Yeah. So I think these are just meant to be... Uh, pop it in your purse on your way out the door if you feel like you need a snack in the afternoon. There you go. Um, now, uh, yeah, this is one of the things that they substituted, so I don't know, these are called mini free onion rings, um, free? it's from New York, it says, but they're supposed to be Russian, okay. as you can see, and it says a recipe for French fried onion rings may have appeared on the daily time, in the daily times on the 13th of January 1910 um, and it says Sacramento 1960 the restaurant AMW's credited with popularizing the onion ring in first restaurant okay so these are supposed to be Russian so I don't know don't know if they're supposed to be Russian well, it has AMW. Russian writing right on it there so I don't know Maybe. but to put American not to Americanize it in a Russian box, kind of. Yeah, it kind of ruins it. Smells like. I don't know. It doesn't smell like onions to me, but let's Sm see. It smells like those shrimp. Chips. Oh, it does smell like those shrimp chips we usually get. They're so thin. They are very thin. I'm sorry. I thought they were gonna be. A These lot are bigger. probably like uh, almost ten pure about a deep fried. Okay. These are good. Yeah. I like these. I like these. these okay. Be my favorite. I must say I'm impressed. They are actually pretty good. They do have a slight taste of like fried onions with mushrooms and everything like you would put it on your steak. I get that flavor from it. Yeah. So it's really, really good. Okay. So last but not least, we have... Alyanka chocolate, named after the daughter of the first woman in space. This milk chocolate bar has been the market leader in Russia since 1966. So I'm thinking this is white chocolate just by the label, but I don't care if it is or not. I just hope... Oh, Whoa. no, it's not. It's good. It's when big. I, when I saw the package, I thought it was going to be dark chocolate. Oh, no, it's split. That uh, it broke, but... Here you go. And that's the middle. Oh, it smells like dark chocolate. Oh, it smells so good. I love dark chocolate. I hate it so much. He hates dark chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. It said chocolate. It said it said dark chocolate. Then it I doesn't wanted... say anything about percentage. 1997. Ugh. It won awards Sniffing. in 1997. I did. 1998 and 2000. So, all right. Huh. Okay. Oh, that is good. That's mine. No. Okay, I'll say that. <laughs> hmm. Fine. Hmm. There's definitely dark chocolate in there, though. I can smell it. Wow. I can taste a little bit of it. So, um, the one they didn't have in here is this one here. I can't pronounce that worth a darn. So, by all me, try it yourself. Um, this one was supposed to be the Chris Austin Loudest Crunch. The snack is dusted with creamy and savory cheese flavor. So, I don't know what it was supposed to be. But anyways, so, we're going to go debate, and we'll be right back with our favorites and our dislikes. Okay, after, it was actually a very quick debate and decision for us that we came up to our likes and dislikes. So, we're going to go with our dislikes first. 
my dislike is this waffle thing it said bursting packed full of flavor and there's mm -hmm. like and there's nothing there there's it's nothing air. Up. it's air and it, uh, i got no flavor whatsoever from it so i was really highly disappointed because i love waffles right my my 23 year old will come and make waffles waffles with our waffle iron and everything else and they're way better than that even without the flavoring so sorry russia please don't get mad at me but i'm just highly disappointed in it um austin your dislike my well my dislike was the whatever caramel it's called thingy. the caramel thing there was no caramel in it yeah just tasted like a thin soft waffle filled with disappointment that's what i'm gonna call it yeah the dis like i was i was like actually ready for this one but i feel like what they did is like what they do with most things is they put such little in it and they think enough to that stick it, it together yeah and yeah. then they just throw it in a package and hope that it works but i like how the company like the snack crate i like how they sat here and tried to really bring out the thing but when you're saying it's thick and it's full of this and full of that it kind of needs to be or it's going to be kind of upsetting upsetting yeah See, like, anyway there's like nothing there is an aftertaste don't get me wrong there is an aftertaste of caramel but it's very 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 subtle because there is so much breading mm -hmm. i think that's the problem there's too much breading but i like the monkey thing that got extra points uh the banana monkey thing because of the fact that it was shaped like an animal that's just and it was cute had a belly button yeah. and a tail it got so. double points so okay. Now that we've got all that out of the way, what was your favorite snack of the whole box? But my favorite snack was the onion rings. Right. Uh, because I'm more of a savory person. I don't like very sweet things. So when I took a bite of them, I was like, they're good. They're not too, like, mm -hmm. heavy on the flavor almost. Yeah, they're not overpowering. But they're, yeah. just, they're just enough to, like, want to snack on them. Exactly. Um... And I, I did like those, too. And the thing is, too, like I said, there's more breading than anything. So what yeah, kind of the kind lackluster of, of it for us was kind of me. Uh, but anyways, my favorite has to be these gummies. Um, I like gummies and uh, fruit snacks and stuff like that. Also knows we get a box of Welch's. They're gone in 10 minutes because I'll eat the whole box because I just I love gummies that much. But these here were not super sweet. The flavor was there. It was very subtle. And like he said, we're more savory people than sweet. So it's more of a... Um, I'm kind of glad it wasn't overpowered with sweet. But I was highly disappointed that there wasn't enough sweet in some of them. But in this, I found very much so. But one thing we will both agree on that we are going to share. And don't worry, yes, the, his little brother will get some too. Is this chocolate. Yeah. They've gotten awards. It's right there. There's the awards they have won. If... I agree. They deserve an award. It is good chocolate. Not as good as Swiss chocolate. Or is Kit Kat. Well, maybe better than mm, Kit Kat. It's I, better than Kit Kat. It's not as good as Dairy Milk. Uh, for no. Me. Not as good as Dairy Milk. Very close, though. Very close to Dairy Milk. But anyways, yeah. those. That's our opinion. And Russia, good on you. I think you tried really well. Uh, I mean, I guess over there, they're used to the not-so-sweet and everything else. They're into maybe more the savory taste, which is why this... But if you're going to make a product and say it's bursting with flavor or it's packed full of this kind of it, like filling, make sure it's there. It's just for me, like I said, it was very disappointing. Um, but, you know, what are you going to do, right? I'm not going to be happy with every single thing that comes out of the box. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give a thumbs up. The bell icon. Wing -a -ding -ding. Yeah. yeah, so you never miss another one of our videos. And please leave a comment below on what, what you think. Yeah, which ones you think you would want to try and which things you don't think you would want to try at all. Anyways, guys, God bless. See you later. Ciao. Arrivederci. Sayonara. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye bye.